Good morning, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Joanne Toronto. And I'm Tom Matthews. And today, this video is geared towards estate planning attorneys. And you know what this is, these are attorneys who work with people who are drafting wills and trusts, and oftentimes have a little bit older clients who, who may pass away. I mean, we all do. And how we as realtors can collaborate and work with them. Mm -hmm. You know, because one of the things that Joanne and I bring to the table that's a little bit unique with our business is that we've been part of BNI, which is a business networking international for 17 years. And we've had the opportunity to collaborate with a lot of estate attorneys. Mm -hmm. And we have yeah. like sat with them in countless meetings and asked them, you know, what would be something that we can offer to you that would be of value that you can then offer to your clients? Right. And Joanne, why don't you tell what, what that is? Yeah. So um, sometimes there are things that you need when you are settling an estate that may be difficult to attain to obtain. So um, one of the things that we offer for our estate planning attorneys is that we can put together a service package for your clients, and that includes doing a date of death analysis. So if you are settling an estate for someone or, you know, uh, one spouse has passed away, one is still living or, you know, the final spouse has passed away and, you know, the estate needs to be settled in its entirety. What we can do for your clients is we can do a date of what's called the date of death analysis. So even if the death was a year before sometimes longer, <laughs> we are able to go back into the multiple listing service and look at certain periods of time where we can then render value on a property based upon the time of death of the individual. So that's really important to get um, for the estate process. And then furthermore, what we can do is we can do a second type of analysis, which is you know a current, a current market analysis. So if we're, if we're called in and it's early on in settling the estate, you know, a, a, a current market analysis would be just fine. Um, and what we like to do is we like to offer a nice comprehensive package that includes a lot of data, a couple of spreadsheets, but then also all of the accompanying information of how we rendered value. And then what we'll do is we'll create a letter for your file that then puts pinpoints one number as the date of death um, value of the house. So these are two really important aspects. Even if there's not going to be a sale of a piece of real estate, it's an opportunity for us to assist you in your business and assist your clients. And then hopefully when the time comes, uh, you know, some point in the future, maybe the house will be sold. We could help you out with that as well. So doing these things are free of charge. We do them um, <clears throat> for people that we value your, uh, your business relationship, and we don't mind doing them at all. And, and one where, the, where this was born out was we would sit with uh, attorneys and they'd say, you know, historically we've used the licensed appraisers, but those price, the values just keep going up in, in price. <clears throat> Although we're not licensed appraisers, what attorneys have found and have told us is because Joanne and I have been working together for 20 years, and have 40 years combined experience <laughs> and close to 700 closed residential transactions that our resume is strong enough that the courts and anyone who might want to challenge that value can say, you know, this is enough experience to have closed close to 700 properties is enough experience to say that these guys know how to, to value properties, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we've seen it, you know, time and time again, where we price a property and meet that value pretty much spot on. Mm -hmm. and, and we also, you know, we built, we have probate certification, we have real estate designations, you know, in addition to kind of in the field experience, we have classroom experience and classroom education and certifications as well. And, and attorneys, what they also like is that as realtors, we know how to talk to people, mm -hmm. how to engage, because when you've lost a loved one, there's a lot of grief, there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people, if they don't understand dealing with people on a regular basis, they come into it with the wrong attitude. Mm -hmm. So we understand how to approach people. And that's like really important to attorneys because they're offering a service to their clients and they want their clients to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And so what, what we feel is that this offering is a collaboration 
in a way for us to give. You know, because one of the foundations of BNI is that givers gain. And Joanne and I believe that the more we can give, the more we can get. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win environment. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we just want people to know that the service is available uh, yeah. for, for state attorneys, you know, particularly if you're centered around, you know, Concord, Sudbury, Acton, you know, one of Carlisle, Lincoln, you know, that's kind of like our wheelhouse of business mm -hmm. is within a five to 10 mile radius around Concord. Yeah. And so, you know, a couple months ago, we met with someone who um, lost her husband very unexpectedly and she has lived in the same house for 40 years um, and no intention on moving, right? right? And so what we did with her was we went out, we met with her at the house, we performed a data death analysis and provided her estate planning attorney with, with the analysis and the letter. And then what we did was we talked about walking through the house. If she were going to sell in the future, what are the things that we think might might come up um as you know not roadblocks but but you know speed bumps along the way and something that had come to our attention in our research was that the septic system was very very old mm -hmm. now with one or two people living in a house you know light use a septic could last a really long time but there was some vegetative growth some trees that were growing over where she believed the leach field was and there could be some problems. Now, she's in a state of grief. She is mourning the loss of her husband. Now is not the time to be tackling a septic. But we gave her a little list of things that we would consider to be good projects to do if she were gonna sell the house in the future. And this does not include renovating kitchens and bathrooms. That's not it. It's just repairing some wood rod on the outside of the house, checking up on the septic, doing a Title V to see how that is and taking your time with these things because the last thing you want is to be in a race to get your house on the market. It's not comfortable for anyone. It's not comfortable for us. Yeah. And we left her with a really good list of things that she can think about over the next 10 years. Right. Not even something to think about today, but we said, file this away in your office. And you know, if you have questions regarding any of this or something pertaining to the house, use us as a resource. And she ended up calling back and thanked us so much after, you know, after she had some time to think about uh, the analysis and what we gave to her and the information we provided her with. And she just so grateful to have this information because when you've lived in a house for 40 years, you just haven't been involved in a real estate transaction in a really long time. So it makes sense to find somebody that you, that you feel you can trust and somebody who's going to have your best interest in mind and get yourself educated. And that's what we love to do is to educate our clients and put them in a position of power. So we appreciate you joining us this morning for this discussion. And if you are an estate planning attorney and this sounds interesting to you, we'd love to send you a sample or talk to you more about what we can offer you. I'm Joanne Toronto. And I'm Tom Matthews. Cheers. Cheers.